When we challenged Anna to make a layout, a full 12 by 12 layout in three minutes, she didn't bat an eyelash. And then I thought, what about on camera? So we're gonna go for it. She's gonna make a layout today that looks something like this one, a little less elaborate. But we're also gonna time her. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get started, let's just give a quick overview of what you're gonna use. Well, Leslie, a lot of times we want to do more layouts and get more pages in our book, but we sort of get caught up in putting too much on the page. Right. I so, do that. Yes, and over measuring. Right. <laughs> so what we too. want to do is we just need a few very basic things. We need our adhesive. This is my favorite adhesive. And then photos, of course. The photos um, I've already printed out to this size, so they're already cropped and, and ready to go. And this is how she printed it on a page like this, so it was really easy to trim. So we cheated a teeny bit, but uh, hopefully you'll forgive us when you see her in action. And then you need cardstock. For the pattern paper, I chose one that has two different patterns, so it's double-sided. And that also helps things go by really fast, even in preparing for your layout because the colors and palettes have already been chosen for you. And oh. then two pieces of um, cardstock, once again, that are coordinating. And Here's the real secret. <laughs> Self-stick <laughs> Self embellishments. Self-stick, ready to go embellishments. No fiddling with any of these, just peel the liners off stick them on. and stick them on. Okay. So, take a deep breath. You ready to go? I sure We're am. Gonna start the watch. Let's go. So you're gonna cut your patterned paper. <laughs> <laughs> we need some sort of Kentucky Derby music. And all I'm doing here is I'm going to create some interest. So these are just going to be sort of like journaling blocks. And that's what we've got here. And they're approximately the three inch square. Once again, I just do really sort of rough cuts. Okay, a little over 30 seconds. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Onto the cardstock. Onto the cardstock. For our top layer, these are going to be, oh, approximately three and a half. And they're all squares, which is part of the key to doing this, is picking shapes that are very similar so that you can block them together without a lot of effort. Right. And again, a lot of it, too, is just sort of letting it go. A little over a minute. And the other key speed cropping technique Oops. is layering your cardstock when you put it through the trimmer. Just got to keep a sharp blade for that one. Right. We've been, we've been cropping all day, so it's just kind of <laughs> ready to go. Okay. One last cut, and we'll be almost ready to start gluing the stuff down. And you can see how Anna does this, just totally eyeballing it, which is the biggest thing that I always. I always spend way too much time doing is measuring. Okay, here All right, we go. I'm going to get out of her way a little bit. And one minute, 50 seconds. Quick dabs of the adhesive. Ah, now she's going now we're, we're, now we're rocking. <laughs> now we're cooking with gas. And folks, this is a dry run. I actually didn't try this first. <laughs> <laughs> she decided really to go wanted for it to it. be a challenge. That's right. Part of the fun, too, is that if you get a little bit of irregularity, it just adds character to the page. Right. And once you see yourself getting some irregularity, basically what you want to do is just leave it. Okay. Because that'll be part of the fun. You have 30 seconds left. Okay, so maybe it's lay out in be four. It's going to a challenge. <laughs> We also don't have very much to move around. When you're at home and you can swing your arms around, you can definitely do this in under three minutes. That's right. I'm trying not to whack, whack you over there. <laughs> Put some pattern paper down. Put some embellishments. Let's get some of those metal ones on. Oh, oh, three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, lay out in four. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can do it in 3.30, so let's try that. Frame around one of the photos. The other thing is having sharp fingernails. Right. I'm a nail biter, I admit it. Sorry, Mom. 
Alright. There we go. Ta-da! 321. That's pretty good for not having practiced. <laughs> Not and too having something that really looks like a finished page. So if you devote five minutes to it, you can see that you yep. can still put a lot of pages into your album in a relatively short amount of time. Yep. It's the key is same shapes, self-stick embellishments, and just get some coordinating paper to start with and you'll be set. For lots of other time-saving tricks, check the magazine and also our website, scrapbookanswers.com.